Good afternoon, and, and welcome to Congregation Emmanuel's Daily Sunset Service. I'm Betty Jane Eisenpreis, and I will be our reader for today. I'm live streaming from my residence through the temple's website and its Facebook page. Our sunset service follows the Union Prayer Book, the familiar small blue volume. If you don't have a copy at hand, you can view and print the selections you will need to follow the readings and the responsive readings. That part is only 17 pages, and it is found on the temple's website, emmanuelnyc.org. Click the link that says Daily Prayer Book PDF. We begin with a prayer for our country. Every inch of America is sacred, from sea to shining sea. There is much to be done in our time, the sort of hard work on which God smiles, because it is done for the sake of the dignity and well-being of all God's creatures. Together, let us work to preserve and make manifest the values upon which our democracy was founded. The task of all people of faith is to call governing authorities to fulfill God's purpose of bringing about justice, mercy, and peace. Individually and as a nation, may we heed our obligations to each other as we navigate the tensions of building a just society. Rather than a politics of divisiveness, may we move our country toward a politics of empathy. May we use our power well so we do great things for all God's creatures, all those made in God's image who yearn for an equal place at America's table. If we do all this, may grace and peace be ours in abundance. May we be a beacon and a blessing to the world. And let us say amen. Our service begins on page 280 of the prayer book. Bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, that stand in the house of the Lord in the night seasons. Lift up your hands unto the Lord and worship him in holiness. The Lord who made heaven and earth will bless thee out of Zion. By day, the Lord will command his loving kindness, and in the night his song shall be with me. I will call upon the Lord with my voice, and he answereth me out of his holy mountain. But as for me, in thy mercy do I trust. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Our service continues on page 283, we read responsively. How lovely are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul yearneth, yea, even pineth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy unto the living God. Happy are they that dwell in thy house. They are ever praising thee. Happy is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the highways. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them appeareth before God. I had rather stand at the threshold of the house of God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord giveth grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, Happy is the man who trusteth in thee. Please turn to page 288, 289. We begin with the Baruchu. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach. Praise ye the Lord to whom all praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'alam ed. Praise ye the Lord to whom all praise is due forever and ever. Praise be thou, O God, ruler of the world, by whose law the shadows of evening fall and the gates of morn are open. In wisdom hast thou established the changes of times and seasons and ordered the ways of the stars in their heavenly courses. Creator of heaven and earth, O living God, 
rule thou over us forever. Praise be thou, O Lord, for the day and its work and for the night and its rest. We pray together, infinite as is thy power, even so is thy love. Thou didst manifest it through Israel, thy people, by laws and commandments, by statutes and ordinances, as thou led us in the way of righteousness and brought us to the light of truth. Therefore, at our lying down and our rising up, we will meditate on thy teachings and find in thy laws true life and length of days. Oh, that thy love may never depart from our hearts. Praise be thou, O Lord who has revealed thy love through Israel. We turn now to page 290, 291. Please join me in reciting the watchword of our faith and then in singing it together. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malhuso Le'alam Ed. Praise be his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kavod Malhuso we continue together on page 290. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be upon thy heart. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt speak of them when thou sittest in thy house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down and when thou risest up, thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand and they shall be for frontless between thine eyes. Thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thy house and upon thy gates that ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. We read responsibly. Eternal truth it is that thou alone art God, and there is none else. And through thy power alone has Israel been redeemed from the hand of oppressors. Great deeds hast thou wrought in our behalf, and wonders without number. Thou hast kept us in life, our footsteps have not faltered. Thy love has watched over us in the night of oppression. Thy mercy has sustained us in the hour of trial. And now that we live in a land of freedom, may we continue to be faithful to thee and thy word. May thy law rule the life of all thy children, and thy truth unite their hearts in fellowship. O oh God, our refuge and our hope, we glorify thy name now, as did our ancestors in ancient days. Mi kamoko vo eli maranai. Mi kamoko nedor bakodesh, nora tehilot ose fele, balchutaka ra'u venecha, zeili anu viamru, ananayim lok le'alam vo'ed. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. As thou hast redeemed Israel and saved him from arms stronger than his own, so mayest thou redeem all who are oppressed and persecuted. Praise be thou, O Lord, Redeemer of Israel. Please turn to the Amida on page 294 and 295. Baruch Atad Anai, Elohenu, Elohei Avotenu, Ve'imotenu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov. Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahano Ra'el El Yom. Gomel Hasidim Tovim. Kone Hakol Vazoker Haste Avok Ve'imaho. Ume Vigalu Alib Nevenehem, Laman Shemo Be'ahava. 
Melech Azir, Mashiach Mogain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magain Avraham, Be'ezrat Sarah. We pray together on page 294. Eternal is thy power, O Lord, thou art mighty to save. In loving kindness thou sustainest the living. In the multitude of thy mercies thou preservest all. Thou upholdest the falling, healest the sick, bringest freedom to the captives, and keepest faith with thy children in death as in life. Who is like unto thee, almighty God, author of life and death, source of salvation? Praise be thou, O Lord, who hast implanted within us immortal life. We go to page 296. Heavenly Parent, who graciously bestowest knowledge on us and endowest us with reason, send us the light of thy truth, that we may gain an ever clearer insight into the wisdom of thy ways. Banish from our hearts every desire and thought of evil, that we may truly revere thy holy name. Forgive our sins, pardon our failings, and remove from us suffering and sorrow. May the erring and the wayward be led to know thy loving kindness and to serve thee in newness of heart. And may those who love virtue and do the right ever be glad of thy favor. Bless our land with plenty and our nation with peace. May righteousness dwell in our midst and virtue reign among us. O thou who knowest our needs before we utter them, and ordainest all things for the best, in thee do we forever put our trust. And now before we pray silently, let us pray for peace in Israel, in the Ukraine, and throughout the world, with these words from the prophet Micah. And it shall come to pass in the end of days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established at the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and many peoples shall flow unto it, and many nations shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall sit, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. Our service continues on page 299 with a silent prayer or such other devotion as the heart may prompt. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before thee, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. At this point in our service, we remember those in need of strength and healing with the Misha Barak prayer. We hold specially in our minds and hearts the names of our loved ones who are affected by illness and fears and the stress of these times, and our families and extended families, and our friends and colleagues, and those across the seas and those we don't know, including those for whom there is no one to ask for blessings of healing and well-being. Please feel free to say their names aloud now.
Please join me in singing Debbie Friedman's musical version. Misha Beirat Avoteinu Makor Habracha Limoteinu May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Misha Beirach Imoteinu Makor Habracha Lavoteinu Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Dear friends, worship is connected is conducted by Temple Emmanuel every day of the year on the holy days and festivals according to their times and seasons. On Shabbos, Friday evenings at 6 p.m. and Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m. Although the temple is now open for in-person services, all our services continue to be live streamed and are accessible from the temple's website, emmanuelnyc.org and the temple's Facebook page and YouTube channel. This sunset service is conducted by a panel of lay readers under the auspices of the temple's men's club. We are grateful to Jonathan Slaff and Prince Davis for their leadership of the panel, and to Rob Buckwall and Donald Dubois for their technical assistance. Temple Emmanuel is a house of prayer for all people and all who had worshiped with us in peace are always most welcome with very great love. And now please turn to page 71 for the adoration. Let us adore the ever-living God and render praise unto you who spread out the heavens and established the earth whose glory is revealed in the heavens above and whose greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. We bow our heads in reverence and worship the Holy One. Praise be God. Vanaknu korim umeshachavim umodim lifnei melech malchei hamachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu. May the time not be distant, O God, when you shall be worshipped in all the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. We fervently pray that the day may come when all shall invoke thy name, when corruption and evil shall give way to purity and goodness when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye, when all who dwell on earth shall know that to thee alone every knee must bend and every tongue give homage. O may all created in thine image recognize that they are brothers and sisters, so that one in spirit and one in fellowship, they may be forever united before thee. Then shall thy kingdom be established on earth, and the word of thine ancient seer be fulfilled. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Together, on that day, the Lord shall be one, and his name shall be one. Bayom ha'hu, bayom ha'hu, yeyeh Adonai echad, ushamo, Ushamo, Ushamo Echad. Page 73. In nature's ebb and flow, God's eternal law abides. When tears dim our vision and grief clouds our understanding, we often lose sight of his eternal plan. Yet we know that growth and decay, life and death, 
all reveal his purpose. He who is our support in the struggles of life is also our hope in death. We have set him before us and shall not despair. In his hands are the spirits of all living and the souls of all flesh. Under his protection do we abide, and by his love are we comforted. O life of our life, soul of our souls, cause thy light to shine upon into our hearts and fill our spirit with abiding trust in thee. And now let us sanctify God's name with the Kaddish on page 77. Transliteration is on page 78. Yiskadal v'yiskadash shemei rabo, v'yomo divro kirusei, v'yom lik malhusei, v'chayachon v'yomachon v'chayet kol beis Yisrael, v'agalo v'zman kori v'imru amen. Yehe shemei rabo mavorak, le'olam ome omayo, yisporak v'yishtabak v'yispoar v'yisroman v'yisnasei, v'yisadar v'yisalev v'yisalom, Shame de Kudshav Rihu. Leolam in Kol Birhasa Visharasa. Tushvakasa Venekamasa. Damiran Biomo Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlomo Rabba Min Shamayo Vakhaim. Olenu Vio Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. O se Shalom Bim Ramav. Hu Ya Ase Shalom. Olenu Vio Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. Tonight, we remember Sanford Davidow, Rose Fishner, Janice Finlater Long, Gail Lowe Maidman, Dorothy Moss, John Zapeda, Lori Haller, and Jason Titunic, and those whom we do not mention by name, but whose memory is dear in our hearts. As a congregational community, we remember all those departed who have entered into the peace of life eternal. They still live on earth in the acts of goodness they perform and in the hearts of those who cherish their memory. May the beauty of their lives abide among us as a loving benediction. May the giver of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort all the bereaved among us. And let us say, Amen. And now we end the service with benediction. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Yo'er Adonai ponave lecha v'hunecha. May the Lord cause his countenance to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yisa Adonai ponave lecha v'yosein lecha shalom. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Good evening. Be safe and be well. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Good night.